hello i'm back with one more uh, point or rules for tenses because generally gmat had some special rule for tenses though it's not different from the day-to-day -day one yet uh, here uh, it requires little consideration so we will talk in short that how to tackle tenses now First of all, we should look at the points that GMAT ignores. So here, that's called have been ing. Basically, it is, it is future perfect continuous. So without looking at what is the name of tense, this is marker have been, will have been ing. So wherever there is will have been ing, sentence or choice should be eliminated. Will so sentences as per sources the information is that raja will have been teaching the students here this such sentences should be eliminated the reason is very clear so wherever there is will have been ing elimination at the same time had been ing that's called past perfect continuous as i said name does not matter we should eliminate it here look that the king had been conquering so the the past had the history because the king had been conquering these trades. So here had been an ing, it means eliminate. The third one that GMAT does not accept. So we should ignore such choices that's called will be ing or would be ing. Here no minister believes that when the students have exam, they will be working or they would be working. So will be ing eliminate three tenses that looking at choice we should ignore that's called will have been ing had been ing and would be ing now partially it's mean 90 percent no 10 percent yes but it is now i want to say uh, it is important to look at that how do we proceed and what is the requirement of the tense that's important here partially accepted means wherever there is is are have been or has been ing remember is ing are ing have been has been ing that's called continuous and perfect continuous respectively so here it is accepted but partially so she is one of the best students in the class who is preparing so had better here we should look if we have choice who has prepared or who prepares that is the best or better rather than is preparing at the same time she is one of the best students in the class who has been preparing so here if we have choice has prepared or prepares we should avoid if we have no choice it's mean we have no choice has prepared or prepares in that case we can go with these two so what is point is ing are ing have been ing had been i has been ing it's been partially accepted if we don't have other choice we should go with such choices now very important these three are very important generally or actually gmat test these three tenses that's called ed or did that's the name wise it's a past simple so by the way we have not to look at what is the name so there is a marker that's called walked did not walk talked did not talk laughed did not laugh met did not meet when did not go ran did not run so whenever there is ed or did it mean it needs sequence of action sequence of action one after another if sentence is i mean to say action is in sequence only then past simple is preferred look she cooked the food later guest appeared and finally everybody enjoyed delicious food so here cooking first action appeared second action enjoyed third action what does it mean it means the all actions are in sequence so past simple it's mean ed or did means action must be in sequence now second important that's called had ed had ed means had walked had talked had met had run remember that's called past perfect here is changes if 
ed ed means sequence had ed means what action before any action if there are two actions at different time two actions at different time so older action will be had ed look here the guest appeared before she had cooked you must remember the first sentence she cooked and then guest appeared here it is the guest appeared before she had cooked so here cooking was the first action that is why it is had cooked the food herself and finally everybody enjoyed delicious food what is the difference actions older action had ed if action is in sequence ed ed and remember in general gmat prefers later now the second i would say third one that's the final one have ed that's called present perfect remember when action over but result exists result exists it's mean present perfect it should be preferred that's called have ed since she has cooked the food the guest appeared to ask about it and finally everybody enjoyed delicious food remember she has cooked and because of cooking because of a smell everybody appeared to ask about it's mean what the result exists so because of that existence it should be present perfect now i repeat point number 1 if action is in sequence past simple that's called ed ed if action reverse older action should be had ed newer action should be ed and generally it reverse we can see example number 2 third that's called present perfect action over but result exist but there must be some indicator that's called present perfect these three are very important things in gmat